I missed y'all. I missed all y'all. Last, last two weeks were, were actually hard on me. Uh, I missed standing before y'all and uh, doing this. Um, Brother Ryan cracked a joke this morning. He said, yeah, I don't think you need to go back to New Mexico. They kind of stand you. And uh, I was telling him that, well, while I was there, I had a big glob of oil mud hitting me right here. And it took forever to get it out of my hair. Do this. Um, my return from New Mexico uh, struck a chord with me this morning, actually a couple of days ago, and the message I will be delivering today. I'm going to read uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 12. Even now, this is the Lord's declaration. Turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, weeping, and mourning. The New King James Version says, Return to me with all your heart. Now, in, in Joel, and backtrack a little bit. Um, Joel had already talked about the descending plague that was coming off from Israel, a uh, big swarm of locusts that were coming. Um, God's judgment upon the people of Israel. We can actually mirror that with today's society. We got COVID-19 out there. Um, new strains are emerging. And there's actually a big locust swarm that's about to emerge. They've been in hibernation for 17 years and they're about to come out. In our own society, it's like we have judgment upon us. Each one of us, as we live our lives, go to work, go to school, we have a tendency of being sucked away or pulled away from God and the church. We start having our inter interdependence upon ourselves and losing sight that how much we really truly need Jesus Christ in our lives. So as Joel says, even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart. And what that means is inside you. Everything within you, your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit, every ounce of your being, you can return to Him. In the time of biblical times, the heart was viewed as the center of intellect and reason, and also the reservoir of our moral compass. Today, in today's world, our intellect is here. Our heart is our center of emotion and desire, whereas our mind is our center of intellect. So in today's society, we need to not only come to Him with our heart, but also our mind. Because in biblical times, they were one in the same. Pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all these people that are here today. We thank you for the beautiful weather outside. We ask that you help us understand how much we truly need you. Help us to return to you with all our heart, all our soul, and all our reasoning. Help us truly understand what it means to depend on you. Help us to humble ourselves before you and ask for your help. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.